all the ornamentation of the Tornpricke House in Hagen has been restored true to the original. The current owner shows us interior features of the early 20th century villa. Welcome to the Tornpricke House, a building under monument protection. We remodeled it as a residence and office. Please come in. Now we're entering what was Tornpricke's studio. We've turned it into an apartment. And now I can introduce you to Anneli Reis, our happy tenant. The 200 square meter studio apartment was not easy for Anneli Reis to furnish because hardly any wall is really straight. But the biggest challenge for the physician was the idea of living in a 100-year-old architectural monument. At first I couldn't even imagine living in such an apartment. It's like a museum, fantastic. But when Jürgen Carsten Ackermann said that they would take me as a tenant, I thought, okay, seize the opportunity. What great luck. With a mixture of family heirlooms and modern furniture, she made herself a cozy home within the old walls. The many windows make the room very bright. The apartment is unusual because some of the outside walls are thicker than others. These window ledges here are fairly normal, but over here you see much wider ones. Here the house was built outward with very big ledges. I always have to stop people from giving me things to fill up the space. That's a problem. It's already pretty full. Now we're coming to my favorite room, which used to be Torn Pricke's bedroom. This is where I eat breakfast every morning. It has a wonderful view. Too bad the weather's not so good today, otherwise you can see as far as Dortmund. It puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. The Tornpricke House is one of nine artist residences here. The Hohenhagen complex was developed by an art patron, the founder of the Volkwang Museum, Karl Ernst Osthaus. He built it between 1909 and 1911. For nine years, it was the home of the Dutch painter and glass artist Jan Ton Pricke, for whom it is named. In just 11 months, the new owners restored the building, investing about a million euros. When you look at these photos, you can see that one of the most difficult tasks was to restore the studio. You have to bear in mind they'd put in a lowered ceiling, and in this corner alone there were four rooms and two more above them. The lower story was also in a very poor state. Now the architect owner has his office there. Nothing remained of this hallway here, not in its current state. The renovators scraped away 11 layers of wallpaper, revealing a precious stenciled painting by Ton Pricke. I have a few photos from when we found the fragments. We finally decided to restore the ceiling to make the feel of the room complete. The new owners wanted to make evidence of the past visible. The floor coverings of wooden planks and terrazzo polished stone are the originals and bear witness to 100 years of history. Some of the office rooms are in a structure built in the mid-1950s. It's not under monument protection, so Jörg Ackermann was able to give this part of the building a contemporary design.